Don't worry, we're not teaching you with a 1950s TV series. This is actually a 2020 production. WandaVision is as original of a TV show as anything I've ever seen. This show is set in the Marvel Cinematic Universe after the events of Avengers Endgame. And if you haven't watched it, I guarantee that after watching this lesson, you're going to be intrigued as to what this unique show is all about. But in case you're new here, every week we make lessons just like this one to help you learn English without getting lost, without missing the jokes and without subtitles. Just like Ahmed who says that the three days of the week that we publish lessons are his favourite days of the week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the bell down below so you don't miss any of our new lessons. So now keep watching to learn new vocabulary and pronunciation with WandaVision. Heavenly shades of night are falling. It's twilight time. Wanda and Vision, aren't we a five pair? This is our home now. I want us to fit in. Oh, this is gonna be a gas! Where did you two move from? How long have you been married? And why don't you have children yet? Our story. I think what my wife means to say is that we moved from... Moved from where? Married when? Damn it, why? Oh, Arthur, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Deep in the dark, your kiss will do. Is this really happening? Like days of old. Lighting the spark of love that fills me <gasps> Am I dead? No. Why would you think that? Because you are. <laughs> we are an unusual couple, you know. Oh, I don't think that was ever in question. WandaVision begins in the setting of a 1950s sitcom, which is a comedy TV show. As I said in the introduction, this is actually what the first three episodes are about. This is the intro song to this sitcom. The first few episodes of WandaVision are all about the classic American dream. The 50s in the States is the decade following World War II and is often described as one of the most prosperous economic times in American history. At this time, American families are all about owning a big house in the suburbs, driving a nice car, having some kids and a dog. Yes, a dog is a significant symbol of the typical happy American family. The attractive home of John and Margaret Bryant, the home they've always dreamed of, the happiest investment they have ever made. At last, the Bryants have all the space they need, big floor-to-ceiling closets for each member of the family, large, comfortable bedrooms. This song represents those values. It talks about a newlywed couple, which means just married. So you think they're connected to the Harris case? Similar MO. All victims were newlywed couples, then the song goes, a regular husband and wife. The American dream, especially in the 50s, is all about having a secure job and a normal but happy life. So this is just another regular, normal couple that symbolizes the American dream. She's a magical gal in a small town locale.
If you're new to a group and you fit in, you're accepted by the other people in a group. This is a special couple with superpowers and they want to keep this part of their identities a secret. Oh, I don't know what I was so worried about. It wasn't so hard to fit in after all. And all we had to do was be ourselves. Well, with a few modifications. This duo wants to fit in and fulfill all. If you fulfill a hope, wish or aim, you achieve the thing that you hoped for, wished for, etc. Example, the boy fulfilled his dream of visiting Disneyland. Aren't we a fine pair? Yeah. Fine means very good or of a very high standard. A fine man or woman is a person who you can respect. Example, he's a fine real gentleman. Perhaps one of the questionable traits of the American dream is caring too much about what other people, especially your neighbours, think about you and your family. Wanda and Vision want to fit in and appear fine, which in part is because they don't want to reveal their secret powers. Alright, well, that's me off to work then. Oh, don't forget! I haven't. Oh. <laughs> Have a good day, dear. Darling, the talent show fundraiser is the most important event of the season, and it's our neighborly duty to participate. Plus, it's our chance to appear as normal as possible while doing so. Well, I don't think that should be a problem. This is our home now. I want us to fit in. Let's analyze this sentence from a connected speech point of view. The first thing to note here is that she doesn't fully articulate this as want us. She says, want us. Then this too is reduced to t. Lastly, the phrasal verb fit in links. The T becomes a D sound. I want us to fit in. Hang on, I'll go grab it and we can start planning. Oh, this is gonna be a gas. This is an outdated expression that means a situation is going to be fun. So, where did you two move from? What brought you here? How long have you been married? And why don't you have children yet? <laughs> Questions tend to be great for exemplifying connected speech, so let's practice shadowing with these questions. You'll repeat the questions as closely to the original as you can. In the first one, pay attention to the first chunk. Where did you two move from? Where did you two? As this part becomes, did you? Now repeat after the actress. Where did you two move from? Where did you two move from? Where did you two move from? In the next question, notice how there's a change in the consonant sound. She says brought you as brought you. What brought you here? What brought you here? What brought you here? Let's try to mimic the next two questions as well. How long have you been married and why don't you have children yet? <gasps> How long have you been married and why don't you have children yet? How long have you been married and why don't you have children yet? <gasps> Now, having a teacher's guidance can make a huge impact on your learning. Like how, in this lesson, I'm teaching you vocabulary and pronunciation from the scene to help you understand it. Without this guidance, you might end up using vocabulary and expressions that are not so common, sound unnatural, or you might even use them incorrectly. But what if, in just a few months, you could learn to speak confidently and fluently using correct vocabulary, pronunciation, and grammar? Well, with our friends over at Lingoda, you can become a sprint champion and get 100% cash back as well as access to the renowned online Cambridge speaking test. More than 40,000 learners all around the world, just like you, have taken part in Lingoda sprint challenges over the last three years, and you can hear some of their inspiring stories of success over on Lingoda's Instagram. As a language learner myself, I can tell you that it's absolutely crucial that you have the guidance and feedback from a qualified native teacher. And one of the best things about Lingoda is that it's flexible. Classes are available 24 seven, plus there are never more than five people in a class, so you'll get to speak a lot. 
Sounds great, right? Well, let me give you some more details about the sprint. It starts on the 28th of April 2021. Now you can participate in the super sprint where you can take 30 classes a month for three months. And if you don't miss a class, you'll get 100% of your money back. Or you can take part in the sprint, which is less classes, and you'll get 50% back. You can take English or Business English as well as several other languages and it's open to learners of all levels. So what are you waiting for? Spots are limited and you have to secure your spot before the 16th of April. You have to pay a 49 euro deposit to secure your spot, but this will be put towards your first month of classes. And as long as you attend the agreed number of classes, Lingoda will fully refund your tuition, including your deposit fee. Now remember to use our code to get 10 euros off your deposit fee and you'll find that link and all the information in the description box below. Be sure to read the contest rules carefully because students tell me that this is the key to success. I'd like to wish every one of you that participates in the Lingoda Sprint good luck. Now it's time to continue learning with WandaVision. How long have you been married and why don't you have children yet? Our story. <laughs> I think what my wife means to say is that we moved from... Moved from where? Married when? Did you notice the strange reaction by Wanda? It seems like she doesn't have anything to say. She's lost for words, or for some reason, she's been rendered speechless. That's when Vision jumps in and says, what my wife means to say. The meaning of mean in this case is intend to or have the intention of. In which of these clips does mean not have this meaning? God, I hated you. I don't mean to make things difficult. I know, because you're a very polite person. This is a man who means to start a war, and if we don't stay focused, he'll succeed. I mean, if it's not too much trouble. No, no, it's fine. I mean, if it's not too much trouble. No, no, it's fine. In that last example, I mean is a discourse marker. If you'd like to learn some tips and tricks on how to understand fast speech, I highly recommend you check out this lesson we made over on our Real Life English channel. You can click up here or down in the description box below to watch it next. It's all right. You, you're one of the Avengers. Your vision! Are you here to help us? I am vision. I do want to help. But what's an Avenger? What? Why don't you know? <sighs> am I dead? No, no. Why would you think that? We say, why would you think something when we find it surprising what someone thinks? Instead of saying think in this phrase, you could also say, what would you say or do? And many other verbs as well. To, yeah, to how you were inviting me somewhere. Why would I do that? That's what I was wondering. Why would you do that? I, I... Oh. <laughs> why would you help my brother escape with that green fool? I don't help anyone. <laughs> an unusual couple, you know. Oh, I don't think that was ever in question. <laughs> unusual is the opposite of usual. It means not common. Here you have an unusual problem. You should talk. You should listen. We often say it as an adverb. Who else knows? Anybody? Nobody. Not even your unusually attractive aunt? No. He says it was never in question that they were a rather unusual couple. If something is in question, it is being doubted. She then explains what's unusual about them. We are an unusual couple, you know. Oh, I don't think that was ever in question. <laughs> what I mean is, we don't have an anniversary. Huh. Or a song. Or even wedding rings. Well, we could rather do that. Remedy means to provide a solution for something. Well, we could rather do that. Aww. 
Later in the story, Wanda is confronted by a neighbor about their secret and then something strange happens. I've heard things about you. You and your husband. Well, I don't know what you have been told. But I assure you, I don't mean anyone any harm. I don't believe you. Who is that? My equipment registered an extremely high level of CMBR. That's... Relic radiation dating back to the Big Bang. Yeah. Entwined was a broadcast frequency, so I had your goons pick me up a sweet vintage TV, and when I plug this bad boy in, voila, sound and picture. Dinner is served. <laughs> so you're saying the universe created a sitcom starring two Avengers? It's a working theory. We successfully identified two individuals inside the Westview Anomaly. Let's keep going. This guest is leaving your home. What are we looking at here? Is it an alternate reality, time travel, some cockamamie social experiment? It's a sitcom, a 1950 sitcom. But why? Hey man, we're working with the same scarcity of intel. Listen, I, I do have an idea. So, you've seen that radio on Wanda's kitchen counter, right? The next time she's washing dishes, which by my count happens about once an episode, barf, we'll shoot a signal to that little guy. This transmitter will mimic the frequency of the broadcast, and if my theory is right, allow us to speak directly to her. This is totally gonna work. Don't touch that. Wanda. Wanda. My equipment registered an extremely high level of CMBR. That's Relic radiation dating back to the Big Bang. Yeah. Entwined was a broadcast frequency. As they explain here, this sitcom is being broadcast through Big Bang radiation coming from the universe. Entwined is an advanced way of saying it was closely connected or unable to be separated. He says that this radiation dates back to the Big Bang, which means it started at that time. Example, this is an old picture of my town that dates back to 1900. The other interesting word he used is relic. This image I just showed is a relic, meaning it's old and interesting. If you're enjoying this lesson, then I highly recommend you check out this lesson we made with Avengers Endgame. You can click up here or down in the description box below to watch it next. So I had your goons pick me up a sweet vintage TV and when I plug this bad boy in... By goons, he's referring to these people in a slightly derogatory manner. Sometimes people call someone a goon if they behave in a silly way or to describe a criminal. She says she had those people pick her up a TV. Notice how have is used here. If you have someone do something, you ask them to or make them do it. Example, the boss had his employees work extra hours. Then, as used in this clip, if you have someone pick up something for you in a store, for example, you ask them to get it or buy it for you. Example, I picked up this pair of shoes on my way home. So I had your goons pick me up a sweet vintage TV. Sweet is a synonym of cool here. Which of these cars would be better described as vintage? That's right, vintage is anything that's old but good quality. So I had your goons pick me up a sweet vintage TV and when I plug this bad boy in, voila, sound and picture. Dinner is served. We often refer in a humorous way to a product or item as a bad boy, especially if it's impressive in some way. Hello, Brian. Coming on a little strong there, buddy. And I'm digging it. How much to take this bad boy home? Actually, that's one of our more reasonable models. Oh. Holy Moses, that is much too much money. Uh what are we looking at here? Is it an alternate reality, time travel, some cockamamie social experiment? It's a sitcom. 
Cockamamie means ridiculous, unbelievable, or not making sense. If you'd rather have Seth bring me the signed documents, that's fine too. Annie, you have to admit, this is the most cockamamie thing that- It's dad's word. It's a sitcom, a 1950s sitcom. But why? Hey man, we're working with the same scarcity of intel. Scarcity comes from scarce, meaning having very little of something. Example, food was often scarce in the winter. They have scarce or not so much intel, short for intelligence, in this case. In this context, intelligence is defined as information about secret activities of foreign governments, the military plans for an enemy, or the specifics of a case that's being investigated. CIA has credible intel that Minister Weisberg was taken by tunnel into Yarun and then driven to the Baalbek district. There's new intel. It looks like Israel's going to hit Iran in the next 48 hours. This is our home now. I want us to fit in. Oh, this is gonna be a gas! Where did you two move from? How long have you been married? And why don't you have children yet? Our story. I think what my wife means to say is that we moved from... Moved from where? Married when? Damn it, why? Oh, Arthur, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Deep in the dark, your kiss will bloom. This is really happening. Like days of old, lighting the spark of love that fills me. With the rain of love. Am I dead? No. Why would you think that? Because you are. <laughs> My equipment registered an extremely high level of CMBR. That's... Relic radiation dating back to the Big Bang. Yeah. Entwined was a broadcast frequency, so I had your goons pick me up a sweet vintage TV, and when I plug this bad boy in, voila, sound and picture. Dinner is served. <laughs> so you're saying the universe created a sitcom starring two Avengers? It's a working theory. We successfully identified two individuals inside the Westview anomaly. Let's keep going. This guest is leaving your home. What are we looking at here? Is it an alternate reality, time travel, some cockamamie social experiment? It's a sitcom, a 1950s sitcom. But why? Hey man, we're working with the same scarcity of intel. Listen, I, I do have an idea. So, you've seen that radio on Wanda's kitchen counter, right? The next time she's washing dishes, which by my count happens about once an episode, barf, we'll shoot a signal to that little guy. This transmitter will mimic the frequency of the broadcast, and if my theory is right, allow us to speak directly to her. This is totally gonna work. Don't touch that. You and I have got Ooh, uh, radio on the side table, start talking. Wanda, 
Wanda, can you read me? Over. I don't. Can't you hear me? I don't think so. Keep trying. Wanda. 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 Who's doing this to you, Wanda? Wanda, can you hear me? I'm here to help. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and also want to remind you to check out that special sprint challenge from our friends over at Lingoda. They've been running their sprint challenges for over three years now and you can visit their Instagram page for more inspiring success stories. You can also learn more by clicking the link down in the description box below and remember if you sign up use our code for 10 euros off your deposit fee. Good luck to everyone that participates. We'd be going in short-handed, you know? Look, he's still got the stones, so... So let's get him. Use them to bring everyone back. Just like that? Yeah, just like that. Even if there's a, a small chance that we can undo this, I mean, we owe it to everyone who's not in this room to try. If we do this, how do we know it's gonna end any differently than it did before? Because before you didn't have me. Hey, new girl, everybody in this room is about that superhero life. <laughs>